On this week's Breaking News, we talk about Black Panther and Wakanda Forever and how LEGO is making an impact on that. The minifigure factory is coming to everyone instead of just in stores and a couple other fun facts. So stick around and listen to the Breaking News. LEGO! LEGO! Hey everybody, welcome back Breaking to Back news. to Brick. I'm your host Garrett, and this is the podcast where we talk with fellow Aphels about their Lego builds and how they went about building them, and we get down to the Breaking News each week to talk about all things Lego has been up to. Thank you all for coming, I appreciate all of you, and I've decided I'm going to give you guys a name, but I'm not going to do it myself, I'm going to have you guys help me. I'm going to open up the Back to Brick Discord. I've had this specifically designed for Lego designers to join for our interviews, but I think it's the perfect opportunity to have our community join together as well. This way we can keep the discussion going if you guys have anything you'd like to tell me about and voting and all different things. So this gives us an opportunity to come up with a name, and I have two choices that we can all vote on and uh, give this community a real identity. Also, thank you for those that filled out our survey. I got some really great information. If you'd still like to and you haven't yet, you can fill out that survey to give us a little direction for where the podcast and the Back to Brick brand should go. Final bit of news, I'm going to be headed out of town for about three months now. I'm going to be heading down to Orlando. I have an internship with Disney that I'm very excited about. So I will still be doing the breaking news just uh, from an Airbnb in Orlando. So the quality might not be as good. I'm going to do my very best to make sure that all the news still gets to you and uh, you get to enjoy all things Lego. All right, let's get into the breaking news. Now there's some stores all around the world that have this little stand that you can build your own minifigure or design it, I guess, and it's called the Minifigure Factory. So it's been pretty limited to who can actually use these because, well, they're not everywhere. Not everybody has a Lego store, or if they do, not all of them have this factory in them. And Lego decided, well, we should probably make it more available to other people. So. They are now testing a new online minifigure maker, the Minifigure Factory, as we said, and it gives you the opportunity to design some prints for your minifigure. You can choose different parts for the head and hair and different accessories, as well as the face. You can do prints on the front and the back of the main body part. Cost of $12, which is the standard cost if you had one in your Lego store. Now, they also have, as I talked about before, celebrating the 90th anniversary, you can get a print done that shows the logo on the front, maybe even the back. I'm not sure. I think it's a great investment if you want to have a minifigure that represents you. You can pick some of their pre-done designs. I'm not sure if you can do custom yet. I know that they can do a little bit of artwork uh, at the ones in Lego stores, but I have not actually taken a chance to look at this one yet. So I'm interested to see, and I should probably just look at it right now, but I'll do that after the podcast. And I'll post the link in the description so you can go head over and check that out and maybe make one for yourself. This past week was a wild ride at the San Diego Comic-Con. There was a bunch of new things released, including toys and different trailers, and specifically Marvel. They came, and they showed up with some great content. They put Phase 5 and 6 out there for all of us to see, all the different lineups of movies. So we've got Blade, The Fantastic Four, Echo... Uh, Agatha, the cult, uh, Covenant of Chaos, just some awesome products. If you're a big Marvel fan, this means we're going to get a lot of cool things coming our way. And Lego actually revealed their Marvel's Black Panther Wakanda Forever sets. That was one of the major trailers that came out of this. And they've released a total of three sets. Shuri's Sunbird, which is 355 pieces. It's a uh, flying ship, and got some cool features. Shuri's Lab which is $60, and then they have King Nomar's Throne Room, and uh, apparently he's the bad guy, and he's part of the Atlanteans, so that's going to be the main adversary against the Wakandans, so I'm interested to see. That leads into our next bit of news of who actually is the Black Panther. If we look at the sets that were released, we have Shuri's got two sets, and it only makes sense as the Princess of Wakanda that she take up the throne and wear the suit. Um, I mean, we all have kind of speculated that, but we, we, it could be Umbaku and that would be interesting too. I just don't, I don't know. I think whoever it is going to be, it's a hard mantle to fill, uh, with 
with the loss of Chadwick Boseman, it's hard to take on a mantle like that. And I think it'll still be a surprise to us once it is revealed. And uh, hopefully that they'll carry this through to a good me- remembrance of him in the movie. So the Fast and the Furious Dodge Charger has made an entrance not only in the Technic scale, but in the Speed Champion scale. And this one is the Technic scale. It's the larger 1 13th scale of the Dodge Charger. And the YouTuber by the name of Lego Life wanted to test the durability of it. So I put it on the treadmill and he put some obstacles in the way to see and to see if it'd survive. And you know what? It did. It, it got a lot of damage hit at it or thrown at it, but it, it survived pretty well. Technic is pretty strong in the locking. That's why, I mean, I don't usually take apart major Technic bricks because, well, it's uh, it's a lot of work. But this is a really fun test, Tra- strapping this to the, the string and then riding it on the treadmill with these obstacles. Uh, it's a fun video. I've put the link in the description. We're going to take a second to break off from the breaking news to talk about our sponsor for the podcast. If you have never heard of Fiverr, it's a wonderful website you can go to and get freelancers from all over the world to help you, well, with pretty much anything. I actually am a Fiverr freelancer where you can come to me and I can do a Lego commission for you. And it's based on packages that you can sign up for. So if you need your resume done, if you'd like a video intro done, an editor and anything really you need someone to make phone calls for you there's probably personal assistance on there you can find you can check out the affiliate link in the description so you can go and check those out and have all these little jobs ranging from a couple bucks to a couple hundred bucks and really help you out on things that might be challenging for you or you just don't have the time so go check out fiverr in the affiliate link in the description the ATTE is officially delayed. Lego did put out a statement saying that they will be pushing it to sometime this fall. The set was planned to launch in North America on August 1st. However, due to some delivery challenges, we expect it to be delayed a few weeks. But that few weeks turned into now a few months. Um, I know a lot of people were able to get it for their reviews on their YouTube channels. So as far as I've seen, there's pretty good reviews. It's still not you know the best model, but... I, I think everyone that's really interested in Clone Wars and Captain Cody, this is one that everyone's going to want, so they'll probably just have to wait and see when it actually does come out in the fall. Lego's done a few of these little mini films. Uh, the one they did this past year was the Halloween uh, special for Star Wars, and now they're doing one in the summer called the Star Wars Summer Vacation. They've actually released a poster with all the characters on it showing uh, Darth Vader in his... Uh, I guess is beachwear as well as Finn in a Hawaiian shirt. This is a really cool idea as they, I haven't seen anyone do something like this. It's going to be on Disney plus on August 5th. So you can check this out. It's probably going to be about, mm, I'd say 20 minutes, 20, 30 minutes, and it'll be a fun adventure. Maybe they'll be adding some more things to Canon as they did with the force time travel. I think that was the Christmas one a couple years ago. Um, you can check it out on Disney plus. Lego Marvel has released some direct-to-consumer sets as, well, it's another name for Ultimate Collector series that Star Wars does. These are larger-scale builds, such as the Sanctum Sanctorum, they did the Daily Bugle, they've also done the Helicarrier, and one, particularly from 2018, is the Hulkbuster Ultron Edition. It's 1,363 pieces at $120, so not a terrible piece count, but the model itself wasn't that great. I actually didn't purchase this, although I love the Hulkbuster suit. And they're actually going to uh, give us an update. This one might be the Infinity Saga slash Endgame uh, version of it. We're not 100% sure, but it's going to come in at a price at about $350 as the piece count's going to be about 3,000 pieces. So it's a little high, but that's, a cl- of course, with the price increases coming. Hopefully the detail will be higher and we'll get some better, well, uh, ideas and minifigures. Maybe they'll have some, I don't know, maybe the Hulk. That'd be cool. It depends on the scale, of course, and we'll see uh, probably in the next few weeks when they reveal it. Lego likes to build their Technic supercars in, well, supersized form. And they did this for the Bugatti Chiron, and now they've done it in the Lamborghini Scion for 400,000 Lego pieces. Now, this has been released for quite a while now, but it was just at Lego. And now they're traveling around with it where you can interact and see the pieces. Um, It it mostly has interactive, the uh, plates that are usually in groups of four that have flexed and able to adjust in the way that they need to to give the perfect form. It took 8,660 hours to complete. 
feet and weighs almost 5,000 pounds, which is a, a lot. Uh, <laughs> and having that transport around the world is probably pretty uh, pretty expensive. Um, but right now it's at Lamborghini headquarters and they'll probably be going to other auto shows with it. So something to check out and enjoy. Lego continuing to make models that are just wow, just impressive. Lego Masters Season 3 is about to kick off. This September, the Lego Masters show in the United States, well, it was first delayed. It was supposed to come out in May, but they delayed it till September, which I think was a good choice because last year's ratings were pretty low, and having a show similar to this in the fall is a much better idea. And this time, an executive producer was finally revealed, and it's Brad Pitt, and he showed up in minifigure form. During the trailer for Season 3, he shows up as a minifigure, and they talk about all the guests and all the different challenges, as well as some of the contestants. It'll definitely be fun and an experience, as it always has been for the past two seasons and different shows around the world. Hopefully the drama is a little tamped down, because I think that's what kind of busted their, uh, well, their ratings last time. I think if you just focus on the builds, it'll it'll be all good. Uh, it'll premiere on Fox on September 21st at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Lego likes to do their mini builds and they like to give them away, usually at their Lego stores because, well, that's an easy place to have the pieces for everybody to come and build. And for August, that's no exception, they're going to be doing a mini beach scene in the in-store Lego build. It has a little surfboard with a couple waves and a little crab. And it's probably about 40 pieces, if that, maybe 30. Uh, you can get it on Thursday in August between 11 and 1 p.m., and 11 a.m. to 1 p.m., excuse me. Uh, it's probably a good call out for the uh, Star Wars summer vacation um, as we'll, we'll probably see somebody surfing. I don't know who that will be. Hopefully it will be Darth Sidious or someone really funny. Maybe BB-8 will be out there. The August gift with purchases have been leaked. There will be three for the month of August. The first is actually a re-release of the Forest Hideout set 40567. It's going to be a gift with purchase when you order anything above $150. Now, seeing as the castle is coming out and the Galaxy Explorer, this is probably going to be an easy grab for a lot of people who are going to be buying that on August 1st and the 5th. And it goes between August 1st and the 15th. So there's an easy threshold to reach for all those people that are very excited about those sets. Another set that is going to be uh, for a gift with purchase is an add-on pack for VIPs. It's Pirates and Treasure VIP add-on pack. So it's got a bunch of really cool uh, pieces. You've got treasure chests with treasure. You've got a shark. You've got a pirate's hat and a pirate wheel, pirate map, a cannon, all, all really cool. It's going to be from August 4th on if you have a VIP membership, which is free and you should definitely have one, and you spend at least $50 in that uh, i think it's just in the month of august i don't know but it's a really cool add-on pack if you love pirates this is an easy buy and you get some really cool parts with it and the final one is the yellow yoshi fruit tree so along the lines with the super mario sets it's a yoshi that's buildable it does have a little s scanned code that you can use with your digi mario and digi luigi and digi peach and i think that's it right now uh we'll see if we get any more and it also has a little fruit tree with a scanner on it as well this is going to be between august 8th through the 15th with a purchase of at least 40 dollars or more for the lego super mario sets uh, I like Yoshi. I wish they did him as a Digi figure, but I know they can't do them all. I wonder if they'll do um, Wario or any of the other ones, um, this Digi figures. Although the main three are pretty much done. I still need to get my hands on one because, well, I don't, I don't have one. And having a Digi figure would be cool just to kind of add it to the collection. So if you have kids or if you don't have kids and you have Lego bricks all over the house, they get lost pretty easily. And that happens even more so if you do have kids. And there is actually a couple, David and Catherine Atler, who have two boys and Lego is always all over the house and having lost in the couch. So they've decided, well, let's try to track it. And they call their app that they've designed Brickit. The whole point of the Bricket app is to use your phone camera to take a photo and then scan all the pieces as they're laid out on a flat surface. 
on screen each piece glows as it's being scanned and saved. Once that step is complete, BrickLink displays not only the total number of Lego bricks in the picture, but all the possibilities that can be constructed from the pieces and the photos. Uh, they've uh, controlled the app to have several hundred and display 243 possible designs, including trees, animals, and other objects. It also displays every piece that you will need for that. This is a really awesome way to collect up the bricks that you have. I'd love to do this for sorting because then it tells me how many bricks I have of something and I can even post that on um, like a little sticky note or something uh, and put it on a drawer that shows I have this many of this color, this brick, blah, blah, blah. Um, having an app that's helpful for this, it can keep track of the Lego pieces you have. So if your kid's like, wait, I thought we had this, you can look in the app. No, we didn't have that one. Um, but it also gives you the creativity to see, oh, we have all these pieces to build this. Why not do it? I wish I was fortunate enough to have the ability to design and build an app. I know that there's been quite a lot of apps recently that you can do this for. And maybe I'll take some time to learn. It's doubtful. I just don't know what kind of app I would want to design. But there are definitely a few that would be fun if you could scan just a Lego brick and it could tell you what set it's from. If anyone actually is an app designer, please uh, please reach out. Maybe in the Discord link so we can talk about some really cool options we could move forward with. And that's all the breaking news we have this week. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Back to Brick podcast. Make sure to fill out that survey if you haven't yet. You can join the Discord, then we can all chit-chat and talk further about this week's breaking news and all Lego things that have come out. You can check out our website, backtobrick.com, and follow us on Instagram. And I'll be in Disney, so if anyone is in the Orlando area and would like to meet up, grab a beer or a coffee, it'd be really fun to meet some of my listeners out there. And remember, go and check out the Fiverr.com through the affiliate link, and you can get some really cool products done for you. And maybe even you need a Lego commission and you can check out my page at Garrett Gorley. So, and it'll be a great way to support the channel. I thank you all again and I will leave you as I always do. Get out there and go build something.